welcome to Ideal Classic Cars. All right, today we're gonna be test driving this 1987 Duesenberg. Um, totally different than anything we've ever driven yeah, before. Yeah, the here. body is amazing, I love um, it. But yeah, here's the example. And Super classy, I love the white and tan interior. Matches so well with the outside. I think it's super unique, for sure. It is. Yeah, but this will be a blast, it's a perfect day for it, so uh, all right, let's do this ride. This is my first time, uh, I think, with the Duesenberg, for sure. One of I'm, the most unique cars, I think, that I had a pleasure to take out. I love the colors. Um, it's such a beautiful day to be out here right now. It's a perk about Florida. <laughs> my, but it's not too hot. I like it. Right. My first thing is this runs a lot smoother than I thought. Um, I was not expecting this. Just got to do our... One loop around the parking lot. Right. Safety checks. I'm not used to like the nose being so like far out. It, it is a learning curve for sure. Um, but the styling, it just makes up for it, you know? Right. I'm glad you're driving and not me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, um, Ian, what do you call a bear with no teeth? What do I call a bear with no teeth? Yeah, what do you call a bear with no teeth? I don't know, I give up. A gummy bear. <laughs> <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> right. Yeah, what an enjoyable car. I mean, they really knew what they were doing when they made these kit cars. Right, and um, something I found really interesting about this is the cruise control. I didn't even know they like made cruise control on yeah, the car. They give something. it plenty of the like modern day amenities, power steering, Power brakes, Power brakes yep. cruise control. Um, we got the video gauges, which are kind of a, a modern gauge, but to look retro. Right. So, yeah, it's it's really just a pleasure car. It's made for people to go out, turn heads, and just enjoy. Yeah, I can definitely see people already looking like, what is this? Um, it does have a, the Cadillac V8 engine. Very reliable engine, okay. you know. With gap speed made kind of half finished kit cars, and they made turnkey kit cars. Okay. So this was a turnkey kit car, meaning that after it was ordered, the client would pick it up, it's turn the key, you're ready to go and drive. For more of a build enthusiast, you could start with just the kind of chassis and build your way up with more of your spec and likings. Um, but this is an example of their offering. Yeah, and this is a turbo what? A, tur a turbo 400 transmission, okay, yeah. Okay, alright. Just a very good mated pair. Um, it should last and last and last. Very, very good setup for taking out and daily driving. Well, you know, as much as you daily drive. Right. Me. This is a weekend warrior if you ask me, but um, nothing stopping you from doing so, so. What do you think the most unique feature about this car is? Yeah, to me, it's always been just the long nose. Right, you right, know? the body itself. There's no part of looking outside this car that doesn't remind you of what you're driving. Absolutely. And, and I definitely appreciate that. So what, what kind of, what prices do these cars go for nowadays? Well, when they came out, somewhere around $45,000, $60,000. Um, that would have been equivalent to about a hundred grand nowadays. Okay. Um, you know, this we can actually get into, uh, you know, mid thirties, high forties. So it's, it's just a very good base to get into. I mean, I wouldn't say the, the value does diminished, you know, it's just, it is a niche market for these. Again, this driving is just so smooth. Like, I'm highly impressed with how, how well oh, it yeah. drives. You know, it, it drives like a Cadillac in a 
get the feel of how the car would be in all these environments. Right. And how fast is this car though? I don't want to, I don't want to try. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, what's the fun in that? What um, do y'all think? I would say there's a line between how fast can it go safely uh -huh. and what it could be capable of doing. Um, yeah, that's hard to say. I, I wouldn't be hard pressed to believe it could do 100 miles an hour. engine it's just it wasn't designed as a aerodynamic car or, you know a super sports okay. car handling car it's, it's its own category of what she is so and it's like you've seen it earlier it's a classy kind of you know car it is car. I feel super luxury in this car and it's cruising nice
does have a top, um, a soft top, but I would stress that this, you know, it's it's kind of for emergency purposes or storage purposes. It's, you'd be pretty uh, pretty cramped in here with it out. And that, that's what I it was meant for. I can't even imagine that. Yeah, and I mean, maybe a smaller person would be fine with it. Me, personally, I would be one of these scenarios. I think I would be okay. But the whole point of these cars were, you know, right, the, the like, top was an after fact of, okay, what if it rains? <laughs> it just looks stunning. Like, I can only imagine, like, what people are, like, thinking as they drive by. I think it's a head turner. And, I, you know, we'll, it's so unique. we'll see that plenty on this ride, I'm sure. So, is this considered, like, a luxury car? I would say so, yeah. For a kit car, yeah. It, it's a luxury car. Like I said, it has a lot of the modern day amenities to make it more pleasurable to drive. Um, you know, it's pretty optioned out. A lot of these kind of cars were the bare minimums. It was just, you have the engine, you have this unique chassis, these crazy lines, and that's it. And you know, and that was kind of the point of it. And I think this does a good job of kind of blending the middle area of the two. think of you know examples of this car maybe not this exact type of kit car but well we're waiting <laughs> I'm not falling into your trap <laughs> y'all got Google you can figure that out I'm surprised this would stick um, that kind of took me back that it's not a stick yeah yeah well again it's luxury was all about you know, two hands on the wheel and just a comfortable ride. Accommodating to the comfort. Right. You know, that that would be leaning more towards kind of like the the MGs and all of those where the extravagant body lines but with an enthusiast kind of build, you know. It's just such a good experience like being in something like this. Oh yeah, absolutely. Can't stress enough, I love my job. Getting to take these out.